Just keep that balance. All right, we got 3D printer. Do I know anything about 3D printers? A little bit. A little background on me. I have a degree in mechanical engineering. I've used them at my internships, current job, a lot throughout college and different design projects. But I've never owned my own 3D printer. That's what today is for. So now I have big boy money and I can buy what I want. Let's use our brains here. Set this thing up. Look at that. I really have no idea what any of this means. We're gonna figure that out, aren't we? One down. I got up here, but not to like start tugging on everything and breaking everything. All right, there seems to be two red pull tabs right here to like lift this thing. So I'm gonna try to do that. It wasn't that bad. All right, there we go. Don't care about that right now. Packaging stuff. Let's move this on the desk. I never ever doing this on the floor. Very careful not to break anything. Oh, they did give me some material. Power cable. Uh, something. Uh, there was a guide, so I'm gonna look at that so I know what I'm doing. There is a guide that I need to read. This is what we need. Again, guys, I'm not, I'm new to this, but I'm not new to this, you feel me? I'm gonna have to get a little handy here. Bust out the screwdrivers. All right, I gotta figure out which way this goes. You know that one meme where it's like, like this? That's how I'm feeling right now. Hey okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Back and smarter than ever. This part, this part I've been confusing me. This is where this tape is. The tape that right here, that's where I'm like, don't know if I need to take it off. I think I need to take it off. All right, it is still not. Now, I could very well watch a YouTube video and come back to you guys and figure it out. But you guys don't want to watch it if you didn't see someone struggling on the internet. This is for entertainment purposes now. And I really hope there's someone who knows a lot about 3D printers and just like absolutely losing their mind right now. This right here, this thing's giving me a really hard time. This cable right here, I gotta think that's my issue. I'm trying to figure that out right now. All right, I think I got the wires locked down. We're like so close. I think we're good. All right, cool. that only took 15 minutes. I gotta install a bunch of screws. All right, cool. Room's in absolute mess. Thing.
not how it's supposed to work. But Bruh. cheating. I'm gonna go eat dinner, enjoy this montage. I think we're good to go. All right, let's print. It did not <laughs> output any filling. Um. Not what we want. All right, it's cutting out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we wanted to do the first time. Should be on the right track now. My whole desk right here is just shaking. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see if this finishes. Benchy, you know, you know. Like I said before. I use 3D printers all throughout college. I use them at my job. I've used them at my internships. But this is crazy because it's just like, this wasn't here 20 minutes ago. And that's just wild to me. I think it's one thing to have 3D printers at school and at work. You know, part for something, for a task, send it to print, pick it up. But just like having one of these in your room and then the idea of like this little boat, this didn't exist 20 minutes ago. And now I have it. And it's just, here in my room, like that's crazy.